I have some of my friends who shape and pluck their eyebrows and so forth, uh, girls of course, I hope so anyway, um, she says that uh, how do I deal with these uh, sisters? Um, should I hate them, this act they're doing, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like this act? By the way, this prohibited act is prohibited for both men and women, not yes. just uh, girls. Well, I hope she doesn't have the, it's the, just the, common, the friends yeah. which, are, which are male. Okay. Mm. Um, what should I do? How should I act towards them, Sheikh? Should I hate them or hate this act? Or should I love them because they're worshippers of Allah, she's saying? Okay, uh, generally speaking, when I see a sinner, mm -hmm. I dislike what they do. But if these people are good in other areas, I like what they do. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a fantastic hadith narrated by Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, ثَلَاثٌ مَنْ كُنَّ فِيهِ وَجَدَ حَلَاوَةَ الْإِيمَانِ And examine this hadith thoroughly and ponder its meaning. There are three qualities, whoever possesses them would find the sweetness of iman, would, would, would find the flavor of faith. He said, to have Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam dearer to your heart more than anything else, including your own self, your wife, your children, your business, that is the first quality. The second mm -hmm. is to love any person whenever you love him or her, you love them for the sake of Allah. Uh -huh. So if I heard that there is a person in South Africa called Ahmad did that. Or in India, Safi Rahman Mubarak Afuri, may Allah have mercy on him. Ameen. Or, 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 I haven't met these guys, I just heard of them, but I loved them at first. Why do you love them? Why do you love them? You love them because they're good deeds. Because Allah loves whatever they are doing. So the relationship of love and hate or liking or disliking, would be also because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Exactly. Unlike automatically what Allah likes. I love what He loves, and I dislike what He dislikes. Barakallah. That's why I dislike disbelief. And I dislike the disbelief of the disbeliever. But guess what? If one day I hear of one person who was one day one of the greatest opponents of Islam, spreading stereotyping and constantly bashing Islam and Muslims, today he realized that Islam is the truth and he accepted Islam. Do I still hate him? Of course, I start loving him. He's the same person, but the acts are different. The beliefs are different. So I love him for what he or she are doing, even if I don't meet him. It's not the physical love, the, the, the spiritual love rather. As far as uh, this sin, which uh, until now, many people do. Unfortunately, even uh, many uh, TV hosts, so-called Islamic programs, mm -hmm. uh, a lady would appear and plucking her eyebrows, maybe shaving them completely, and drawing them with the, uh, with a marker or the pencil. That is totally haram, even just plucking them. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the sound hadith, لَعَنَ اللَّهُ النَّامِصَةَ وَالْمُتَنَمِّصَةَ May Allah curse the one who plucks her eyebrows, or may Allah curse the one who does it for others, or get it done for herself. By the end, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Mughayrati li khalqillah. They don't like the way Allah created them, so they tend to change the creation of Allah.